couple of days, we're going to be exploring the west coast of Scotland, mainly Skye. Our first stop is Kiltern Castle. We used to live for two and a half months at the end of Loch Awe, where Kiltern Castle is. And we once took a boat here, and it was really cool. We didn't even know what, what we had. gold we were sitting yeah. on. <laughs> We're doing this tour with David's brother Tyler. He doesn't really want to be on camera, but we might butter him up to it by the end. There is a Highland cow somewhere it's here, so I'm like keeping my eye out for it. But this is beautiful. There's also a waterfall over there. <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> I just wiped out. Nice. <sighs> in here I totally thought we could get that's a home. bummer yeah last time we were here you could just walk right in but it's all fenced up now we were just over there and we can, came around and you get this cooler view. Hello sir, how are you? This is great, these guys don't care. I'm very happy, I'm on cloud nine. I got to see sheep and a highland cow over there and a castle. Such a good day. Stop, we're here at the Glenfinnan Viaduct and it's completely changed. The chiropractor is here and we walk up. Last time we were here, we came in right here and we walked up. Um, so there's a bridge viewpoint, a viaduct viewpoint. And then this is the famous Glenfinnan Bridge. So cute Harry Potter clip flying over the Glenfinnan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding, it's beautiful. It's so good. It's so good. Harry Potter was right up there. Met him once. Pretty cool. Not the best weather. So we're gonna go get some neat. Fort William. Recommended by Tyler. All main meals include a drink. Here's guys. It's storming out there. How was dinner? It was really good. It was our first spoons experience. A couple of hours on a sketchy road. I think we're gonna make camp here. I don't think that's gonna work for you, Tyler. You kind of curl up in a bit. <laughs> so we are sleeping in the tent. Tyler is gonna be in the car. We just po polished off the Glen Marna. And with our spoons. Can't, can't even see ya. Tyler's got his bed set up. And with her spoons. Trying to back there. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> wow. We rained a lot last night, but we didn't get wet. And we just woke up to this view.
Donnan Castle. Alien Donnan Castle is located on a little island and it's actually like the point where three sea locks meet. It was first inhabited in the 6th century, but it was actually a castle was built in the 13th century. A bunch of different stuff through ha history happened to it where the castle got bigger. I think there was like once like six big peaks and stuff. It used to be really grand. And then in the early 1700s, there was a Jacobite uprising. Brits found out about it, came in and just took over, blew the whole thing up. It was left uninhabited in ruins for 200 years until 1911 when Colonel McRae purchased it and restored it to its former glory. It was opened in 1923 and has been open since. Uh, you can now view it. We're here at an off season so we can't view it but during peak season you can go into every single room and they do like events and weddings and stuff as well. It's one of the most uh, distinguished like recognized castles in all of Scotland. You can find it on sharp red tins and in commercials and in movies and everything. Everyone else is hopping the wall, so I guess we will too. In the off season, you can actually still walk around the castle, but you just can't get inside. had to stop to check out this mountain. Oh my gosh, we're here for a few days, but I don't think that there's gonna even like be enough time. We're just gonna wanna stop everywhere. It's crazy, this is beauty everywhere. That's called Glamaig. Look that okay. up. Yeah, it's a cool looking mountain. There's a cool like statue thing over there. There's like a fisherman and a farmer, I think, or something like that. Don't actually know what it means. I'm sure that it's a symbolization of something, but I didn't read anything that says it is yet. Well. Sorry. The first official stop that we're making on Sky is the ferry poles, which is just down there behind me. We were going to do this many years ago, and we got here, and then it just rained like crazy. So we decided not to, to do the walk, because it was just torrential. So actually really nice today. nice today, there's no wind. There's a random sheep right here. And I was a little surprised, you do have to pay for parking here, but it's like a charity thing where they preserve the area and they have bathrooms and everything. So it's about, I think it's five pound. We got this little um, pamphlet and there's not really any information on what the ferry pool is, where they came from, where the name came from. Just a cool spot to, to come see, I, I guess. It's managed by the Outdoor Access Trust for Scotland. So it's five pound to get in and it goes towards trail maintenance and the so building. There's, there's just a bunch of waterfalls all the way up this. These pools are so blue, so cool. I would totally go for a swim if we had longer here. I would definitely swim in that. That's beautiful. This just doesn't look real.
You gotta come and see this spot. Pre-made pancakes. Save your life. <laughs> Are you making cheese? Mm -hmm. I gotta say that's quite thick, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat it. Beep beep. Excuse me. Coming through. <laughs> There's so many of them. We have made it to Nest Point. There's actually a lighthouse way over there. We're not gonna walk to it today. It's like pretty much gonna be dark in a half hour. But these views are amazing. Skylar almost fell off of this back in the day. Thoughts on uh, Nest Point? <laughs> 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 Airbnb in Portree tonight. It's nice. So nice. You happy? Yeah. <laughs> tonight we're having pizza, and tomorrow night we're having pizza. would never pay for a tour by us. Lots of false summits coming up here. We're actually gonna go up to this point. You dying? Fuck me, bro. <laughs> so we're in a nice protected cup right now. This is nice. Enjoyable. Insane winds. Insane. <laughs> I have never experience wind like that. That's just nuts. How are you feeling? Oh, man. <laughs> I thought I was going to die from it. <laughs> we just made an attempt to get to the top of this, like just over there, and it was insanely windy. Like Tyler's trying it now because he wants to take a look. Oh no, my jacket! Oh! How was that? Windy and raining, catchy, but beautiful. And we made the best of it, so. Just had some ham and cheese sandwiches and boost bars. Now we're going to Kilt Rock, I think. Kilt Rock. There's a really nice waterfall over here. We are up at the Kerrang. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's There's Quarag. a Quarag. Okay, well, cool look off, but it's super windy. Uh, we're gonna take a walk over and see if we can see anything. and get over to. Imagine 
imagine this being your house. This is your your window right here. <laughs> I'd say I definitely want to check this spot out. It's just a quick two minute walk. Spiral thingy is because of tourists. It wasn't here. Are you sure? Well, that's what Tyler read online. So tour guides tell you to walk around it and put some money in the middle as a donation to the fairies. Final stop before it gets too dark. Dunbegan Castle. It's actually closed because it's winter time. Inside and do a little tour, which is really fun. And you can go on a seal tour and see tons of seals like right in this bay. So I recommend that if you ever get the chance. This morning we're gonna take a little walk into Portree. Tyler's sleeping in. He's missing this one. Portree's looking beautiful this morning. It's a little misty, but gorgeous. This spot was recommended to us by my aunt. It's called The Lump in Portree, and this is the Apothecary's Tower, which you can climb up. Oh, the Lump? Yeah. Huh. I think my aunt said the, the Mold, or the Mound. Mound. Or something, yeah. It's called, I don't it's think it's, it's called on, The Lump. On Google it says, on Google it says The Lump. Huh. Yeah. It's a pretty nice lump. Cool spot. <laughs> 